Hope you're all strapped in, ready to go for the piece de resistance that is the Grand National on Saturday. As you can see, the plant behind me hasn't seen too much water recently, but the course most certainly has. So with that in mind, I'm going to go with Galia de Lito for the skeleton team looking for that trainers championship. In second place, once again, I'm going to go with Vanillier. I think you prefer it a little bit faster, but soft ground is no hindrance to him either. Limerick Lace was a brilliant winner at Cheltenham. She can pick up third and in fourth. Well, why not last year's winner? One for the British in Corak Rambler. So I'm going to start with Ian Maximus. He's an eight-year-old. He's a classy horse. He's an Irish Grand National winner. The second horse I'm going to go for is Capodanno, also trained by Willie Mullins. My third horse is Malar Mission for John McConnell. The last time we saw him was in the Carl Gold Cup at Newbury when he finished second. He came home without his two front shoes that day. My fourth horse is Manella Indo. He's 11 years old now, but he's down to a mark of 159. He's a Gold Cup winner. He's got all that class. He ran really well in the cross country chase at Cheltenham back in December. Well, the number one spot. Correct Rambler to retain his title. Second, Panda Boy. Third, the Mayor Limerick Lace. And fourth, Chemical Energy. Correct Rambler to go back to back, beating the Mayor Limerick Lace. Manila Indo, the Gold Cup winner, to finish third. And in fourth, I think Noble Yates, the previous winner, can bring up the placings. Limerick Lace, trained by Gavin Cromwell, is going to win it this year. The choice of Mark Walsh. She was very, very good when winning at Cheltenham. I do think she'll keep on to beat. Martin Brazen's trained Panda Boy, who's got a really good profile for this race. And back in third, I am Maximus, the Irish Grand National winner. He's got a really good profile for this race. And in fourth place will be Galea de Lito, trained, of course, by the Skeletons. Well, let's kick off with a horse who was second in the race last year, Vanillier, in impressive style as well, staying on all the way from the back. Uh, if the ground does come up heavy, I think Nasalam still has improvement in the locker based on what we saw at Chepstow on the 27th of December. A horse that will, you know, will stay all day, and that's Kitty's Light, who, I mean, his, his resume for this race is a very impressive one. Hi, I'm Andrew. My one, two, three, four for the 2024 Aintree Grand National. In first place will be Panda Boy. In second will be Meeting of the Waters. In third place will be Delta Work. And in fourth, for me anyway, will be Mahler Mission. I really like Panda Boy to win the race for Martin Brazel, who's campaigned this horse very well and has some very good staying handicap chase form. I am going to side with Mahler Mission for John McConnell. His first runner in the Grand National. He's been kept very fresh for this race after an eye-catching second in the Coral Gold Cup, just ahead of I Am Maximus. The Mount of Paul Town End, he's been a real revelation this year. Back in third, last year's winner, Corrick Rambler, he's got a lot more weight on his back, and maybe the third in the Gold Cup might just put a little bit more of a doubt into how fresh he will be. And then finally, the fourth place horse, I'm going to go with the Gold Cup winner from the past, and that's Manella Indo. And then if I'm going to be really cheeky. I'm going to give you a fifth place horse as well because you probably will get extra places and Kitty's Light deserves to be in this race. He loves a marathon trip. You know that he'll be there fighting all the way to the line and I hope he's going to give Wales and the Christian Williams team something to shout about. So that's it. My one, two, three, four and a fifth for this year's Grand National.